So hello guys, this is Foxtrot 5 November Papa Victor. This is the, the part two of the uh, the presentation of the of the fake uh, ATU uh, the, the tuner, so the remote controller tuner. So here this is the almost the final release. So this release is only with a, a manual tuning. So I remove uh, uh, currently the automatic tuning is not because it's not working but I need uh, to perform additional tests on it on as I said in the, the part one video that uh, currently the, the the manual tuning is uh, is more than is sufficient for me it, uh, I don't need uh, uh, currently uh, the, the automatic tuning so according maybe if you if you're reading into the, the website so on also what I said in the previous video that uh, I decided on also I have a, we have a quite a good very good discussion in the French amateur radio forum about uh, antenna tuner on NFED antenna on uh, uh, most of the review or the summarized by the, the different uh, old man on the different amateur radio that uh, Using this kind of transformer, it's uh, it's quite good. There, no doubt about that. This is what I said. It's working quite well. This is uh, this release. It's a one forty nine uh, transformer uh, for receive. As I said, it's working perfectly. No problem. On transmit, the SWR is perfect from uh, eighty meters band up to ten meters band. I have uh, less than one point two uh, SWR, but uh, as I said in my previous video, this is uh, the losses you can you can encounter according with this kind of transformer. So according with uh, the different uh, tests I perform with this kind of transformer, I made a different. I have another one uh, here also in the in the shack, but uh, I make some different tests with different core, different uh, configuration, one sixty four. Uh, 221 turn, uh, 149, and so on. And I put simply back to back the, the two transformer, or mostly like that, on here with the input, uh, the, the, trans the, 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 the the transmitter on the output of the second uh, uh, transformer, uh, a dummy load, and with, of course, a wattmeter in order to check the input a watt meter at the input, a watt meter at the output, and to check the, the output uh, power and the, the energy transfer between the input and the output. And what I notice, whatever the configuration I, I use, I lose, some, I lose some power. On the lower band, it was not so critical. I lose about a 1 dB uh, uh, power, but above 20 meters band, uh, the loss are quite significant. And when I reach uh, 15 meters, on uh, 10 meters band, the loss can be up on more than 50% of the energy is lost into the, the, the transformer. So it's quite a concern, especially if you are uh, using a low power on this kind of thing, losing too much energy is not uh, maybe the, the most, uh, the, uh, the, the, the thing you are looking for. So I, according with, uh, what I said in the previous video, so I dis decided to move to a more more efficient uh, uh, transformer. There are so many many efficient uh, many transformer, uh, many antenna. You have the Zeppelin antenna, you have the Fuk antenna. On uh, the Fuk antenna uh, uh, was uh, something I was looking for. On, uh, and I find uh, some uh, different information on the net. Of course, a few container. It's uh, I, think, I think it was invented uh, last century in the 1920 or something like that. So I'm not Mr. Marconi or Mr. Edison. Uh, this is something uh, quite uh, already used by amateur radio for almost 100 years, and it's working well. So all the amateur radio using this kind of transformer are reporting that the efficiency on the high efficiency of this kind of transformer. Of course, when you compare the size of both transformers for approximately the same uh, uh, 
input power capability. That means this one is about uh, 500 to 600 watts. This one also, also the same, uh, about 500 to 600 watts without any issue. But the size, of course, is different. The, so, what is the FUC uh, antenna tuner? The FUC antenna tuner, this is a resonance circuit. Because uh, in one side, you have a 50 ohm uh, uh, transmitter. On, on the other side, there is a... Uh, and fed antenna with a very high impedance. So, so of course, the, the FUC antenna tuner was uh, designed during the, the last century when the, we, are, we were using all the amateur radio were using a uh, tube uh, transmitter with a, a, PI, a, a P network with uh, like your amplifier, tube amplifier. And most of the time, they have directly the antenna plug into the, almost plug into the, the the transmitter nowadays is a little bit different because we are not using this kind of technology and mostly we you, you, our transmitter are not are not the same they are not using tube anymore they are 50 ohm at the output and we are using coaxial cable in order to feed our antenna therefore there is with some variant with some adaptation you can also use this kind of uh, tuner in order to feed your antenna through a coaxial cable onto the unfed antenna. So I have decided to move to this, uh, to this uh, antenna tuner and to make it uh, with uh, remote control capabilities. So according with the, the, the remote control capabilities, I'm using uh, ESP8266 uh, 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 microcontroller so this is a, a microcontroller um, using also Wi-Fi. So according with, with this microcontroller, obviously I can also uh, I can set up, of course, the servo control here. But also uh, the the ESP, uh, the the benefit of the ESP, you can uh, embed inside the ESP a web page in order to have a remote control from your from your shack through the Wi-Fi network into the, the the microcontroller you can control whatever it can be a servo can be a relay can be anything with the a web page a dedicated web page very simple i think i need to put also the the, the html code of my web page into the 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 my uh, website description so there is also, of course, other microcontroller, but this is uh, the one I have and the one I am more comfortable into uh, for scripting and, and development and coding. So I, I have decided to move uh, with this one. So it's here, it's inside. So there is a connection for the servo to control the servo. Here, what you have inside, you have the LC network. So here, of course, it's... Uh, in fact, it's already a transformer, but the air core transformer. It's a, a 164 transformer with two at the, at the primary, two turn, and 16 turn at, at the secondary. So I have a ratio of about 164. So according also with the network, both uh, components, that means the capacitor and the inductor, this is the, the main inductor, you have the LC resonance circuit. This is the LC resonance circuit in order to feed your antenna and to tune your antenna. But your antenna, obviously, is, it, cannot be, it cannot be any line. It must be resonant at the frequency you are planning to use. This is also uh, the main requirement or constraint. It's, uh, it, it depends uh, uh, in which side you are. So this is basically, in fact, when you have a look it's bulky, of course, because uh, the design is completely different compared to, to this design. But uh, the efficiency is clearly far better. So here I'm using, can show you, there is a tiny relay in order to connect or disconnect the servo, the power supply of the servo. Because as I said in the, in the initial video, the, the problem with this kind of servo that um, they are very sensitive uh, with the RF and the HF. So that's the main issue. So when you tune your, um, 
your uh, your, your antenna, you need to uh, to use about ten to fifteen watt. After, I'm I'm sure it will depend the the what kind of servo, perhaps maybe the brand or the quality of the servo you are using. I'm sure it can be different according with that. Therefore, according with uh, the feeding of the servo for the power supply on the PW. PWM in order to control the servo. I put some inductor, uh, 47 micro Henry uh, inductor, on some decoupling capacitor. I put also some decoupling capacitor also here for the power supply. I put here, this is the, the main power supply feeding. So I put a 1000 microfarad uh, decoupling capacitor. You can put other value, it's not so critical, but I think between 1,000 to 3,000 microfarads is something quite, quite good. Here, this is the extension for the Wi-Fi antenna. In my website, uh, I put uh, the, the wiring for the Wi-Fi antenna on here. It's uh, simply a tiny dipole for the 2.4 gigahertz uh, frequency. So... When you look carefully to, to this design, in fact, so of course, sorry, there is a enclosure. It's a mount box for to protect against the RF. RF. So the design is very simple. So I'm going to to show you quickly. So I put in my lab power supply. So it's 12 volt uh, power supply. Oh, sorry. So you can hear the, the relay and you will see the capacitor will going to uh, to the mid position. So the the ATU is uh, initialized, we can say that. And after according with your web page or preset position, you can uh, move the capacitor because this is the only mobile component into the this ATU. This one is fixed, there is no uh, um, uh, variable inductor, only the capacitor is moving. So this is mostly the main benefit of this kind of tuner because you have only one mobile uh, component and this is the, the main capacitor. I think this capacitor is about uh, uh, 3 kilovolt uh, uh, capabilities. So it's a 1200 picofarad. The inductor here is about 1.8. I make a few tests with different inductor. I can show you. Here, you see, I make a lot of, a lot of tests with different uh, size or value for the capacitor, uh, the inductor, sorry. On, for me, the best I, I find, this is this, this design here with 1.8 uh, mi micro Henry. Uh, inductor, but the capacitor it uh, remains exactly the same. So I'm going to move a little bit the the capacitor just to show you. There is nothing special about that. Oh, the web interface it's switch on. You can see I can move slowly. You can move it faster. So this is some preset position here, and so on. I can move, see, very, very, uh, very slowly. So the good thing also with this kind of uh, servo, there is a, a recopy of the, the value and the position of the servo uh, at, uh, in real time. So it, it's, quite, it's quite useful. So this is mostly, uh, it's quite bulky. <laughs> it's difficult to find a, a smaller box because mostly about the capacitor if you want to, to use with uh, some uh, uh, power like 400 or 500 watt, definitely the capacitor is bigger. If you are using the, the antenna tuner with only a QRP or maybe uh, less than 100 watt, of course the capacitor will be far smaller and of course the box will be far smaller also. So th that's it. I think I forgot uh, nothing about uh, this presentation. This is just to present you uh, this uh, ATU, how it works. It was made. Of course, this is my build. I'm sure you guys, you will have a better idea. Um, I prefer to use a wood in order to avoid to have some metal metal part 
around and especially around the inductor in order to minimize the capacitor the capacitance or uh, stray mostly so i use wood i think it's a, a good choice uh, i put of course the uh, the esp into a metal enclosure so that's that's straightforward it's very straightforward the wiring there's not so many wiring in fact because the servo it's only three wire so it's quite simple power supply the ground on the the control so here there is a, a system initially i was uh, planning to put um, to use a uh, planetary gear but in fact i don't need so i recommend to have in fact for the servo yeah before to forget i will recommend if you buy your servo if you have the servo to use uh, about three to six kg torque on a low speed servo because in fact we don't need a high speed for you see on this one it's a middle range servo the speed is not so good and you notice when i, I put the preset position it moves very fast and maybe it can be too fast so there is no need to have such a faster servo you do, we don't need a, a high hand servo regarding the speed uh, rc uh, control guy sometimes they need a very high speed servo but for us i don't think we need uh, this unfortunately this servo is not a metal enclosure i think a metal enclosure will uh, assist to protect against rf so that's it this is uh, the presentation mostly about uh, this uh, ATU. There is nothing special. Uh, all additional details are in my website. So enjoy your build if you decide to, to build this, uh, this antenna tuner. I will highly recommend. It's, uh, it's fun to build. It's quite interesting. On, uh, as I said, the efficiency, it's really, really good. It's really high efficient uh, ATU. And you will... Uh, you will notice the difference compared to other, other uh, transformer, maybe like this one, or maybe other, other kind of a transformer. So that's all for today. I hope you, you enjoy uh, the, the presentation. If you want some additional uh, detail, feel free to ask into uh, my website or here into the YouTube video. No problem. I will try to answer, to do my best to answer all your questions. So that's it for today. This is Foxtrot 5, November, Papa Victor going on a QRT. Bye-bye.